LDS church member and Higley High School teacher Aaron Dunton arrested. When we first started this story, we unexpectedly came upon a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints cesspool of crime at the Higley Unified School District, located in Gilbert, Arizona. Most recently, Aaron Dunton was arrested on four counts of aggravated assault, one count of tampering with a witness, and two counts of contributing to delinquency or dependency of a child for having a sexual relationship with a child, according to court documents. During the investigation of these crimes detectives found another victim of Aaron Dunton for incidents in 2019 at Power Ranch Elementary when the victim was 11 years old. Police say Dunton was the victim's teacher at the time. At the time of his arrest a number of people came forward to police stating that they notified the Higley Unified School District of Aaron Dunton's crimes due to the nature of the school board makeup with LDS church members. The school protected Aaron Dunton by moving him to the high school and doing nothing to help the 11-year-old victim. The extent of fraud and criminality at the Higley Unified School District is evident in the indictment of conspiracy, procurement fraud, misuse of public monies, conflicts of interest, filing false tax returns. These are among 27 total charges while Denise Birdwell was running the Higley Unified School District, an attorney, and two former Arizona State University real estate executives faced in grand jury indictments. These are not the only Higley Unified School District employees which have been arrested. There have been arrests for rape of a child, stalking, and first-degree murder. These are only the arrests we can substantiate. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are the first to falsely call other people sexual deviants however, the LDS Mormons are the biggest violators of all sex crime and rape laws. The state of Utah, the epicenter of the LDS Church, has the highest child sex crime cases in the country. Joseph Smith condoned, advocated, and participated in the molestation and rape of children. It was just as wrong then as it is wrong today. Today's LDS church members make excuses for Joseph Smith and secretly continue the practice. In every location the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints sets up churches and temples, there is a significant and permanent increase of all sex crimes.